Hello YouTube friends and welcome back to Renee Anita B. I'm going to share with you 25 items that I sold during the month of February. February was a great month for me. It probably had something to do with the fact that I added about 100 new items to my eBay store in January. As I've said in my previous What Sold videos, I still offer free shipping on all of my items. So I calculate that shipping cost into my items. It's an average cost of four to five dollars per item. The first item was a set of two mid-century wooden taper candle holders. I actually bought these at a family garage sale. They belong to my sister and brother-in-law. I paid a dollar fifty for the set. I accepted an offer and they sold for eighteen dollars. The second item was a vintage Inesco I Love Ireland coffee cup. I probably paid 35 cents for this at my local thrift store. It was something I bought when I first started selling on eBay. So I've had it in my store for a long time. I sent an offer to an interested buyer and it sold for $17.94. The third item was a set of two Valentine's Starbucks coffee mugs. I bought these at a garage sale several years ago. I think they were marked $3 a piece and I asked the person running the sale if they would accept $2 each for them. So I have $4 invested in them and they sold for the full asking price of $44.94. The fourth item was a St. Patrick's Day scrub top. As I've mentioned many times before, I love selling scrub tops. They're easy to list and easy to ship. I actually purchased this one during a $10 bake sale at my local thrift store, so I only paid about 46 cents for it. I accepted an offer and it sold for $15. The next item was a vintage Sweet Secrets pink striped cat. I paid 25 cents for a bag of three of these at a garage sale last fall. The first one sold for $26, the second one sold for $19.94, and this one I accepted an offer for $16. It was even missing the little mirror inside. If it had been complete, I probably could have got more for it, but I was happy with $16. The sixth item was a pair of Yak Tracks Ice and Snow Traction Shoe Covers. I paid $2.99 for these at a Goodwill store when I first started selling on eBay, so I've had them in my store for a long time. I sent an offer to an interested buyer and they sold for $18.94. The seventh item was a vintage OvenX heart-shaped cake pan. I paid $1 for this at a garage sale last summer and it sold for the full asking price of $24.94. The eighth item was a collector's choice porcelain Irish boy doll. I paid $1.50 for this at a garage sale last summer. I accepted a fairly low offer, but it was only because the person bought the matching girl figure, so I knew that I'd be able to combine the shipping cost, and it sold for $19. So the ninth item was the Collector's Choice Porcelain Irish Girl Doll. I paid $1.50 for this one as well. It sold quickly with the matching boy doll. I was able to combine shipping, so I accepted an offer for $19. The tenth item was a pair of Vans High Top Skateboard Men's Shoes. I found these at a garage sale. They were asking $5. I remember I asked them if they would take $4, and they accepted that. I accepted an offer on these, and they sold for $40. The next item was a Carter's My Little Pumpkin Infant Hat. I paid 50 cents for this at a garage sale. I recognized that Carter's was a quality brand name. It took a long time for this one to sell, but it sold for the full asking price of $9.94. And it sold in February. Who knew? The twelfth item was the North Face Pink Beanie Winter Stocking Hat. I paid $2 for this at a garage sale. I accepted an offer and it sold for $14. 
The thirteenth item was a set of two vintage carved wooden hound dog figures. I paid a dollar ninety-eight for these at my local thrift store. I took a little time polishing them up with some lemon oil. They sold quickly. I accepted an offer for forty-four dollars. Number 14 was a set of glittered Easter figurines. It included a bobblehead bunny in a car and a wheeled Easter bunny. I paid $2.25 for the two pieces at a St. Vincent de Paul thrift store. I sent an offer to an interested buyer and they sold for $27.94. Number 15 was a Pampered Chef Valentine Red Heart Dish. I paid $2.97 for this at my local thrift store. I sent an offer to an interested buyer and it sold for $18.94. Number 16 was a package of Designwear Pokemon Party Invitations. They were still new in the package. I paid 38 cents for these at my local thrift store. I received several low offers, but I held out. They sold quickly when we finally agreed on the price of $9. Number 17 was a vintage porcelain Irish trinket dish. I paid $2 for this at a garage sale and I got the full asking price of $24.94. Number 18 was a small decorative shallow wood bowl. I paid 67 cents for this at my local thrift store. I accepted an offer and it sold for $22. Number 19 was a vintage St. Patrick's Day ladies handkerchief. I got this free from a friend and it sold for the full asking price of $19.94. Number 20 was a vintage Eureka Easter Bunny cardboard die cut. I paid 50 cents for a whole bag full of Easter die cuts at a garage sale. I sent an offer to an interested buyer and it sold for $17.94. Number 21 was a set of 12 miniature art glass Christmas ornaments. I paid $1 for these at a garage sale last spring. I accepted an offer and they sold for $17.94. Number 22 was a semi-precious gemstone globe paperweight. I paid 97 cents for this at my local thrift store. I accepted an offer and it sold for $24. Number 23 was a Fruit of the Loom Thermal Men's Top. This was still new in the package. It happens to be something that my husband got for his birthday. It didn't fit, so I decided to list it on eBay. It sold quickly for $16.94. Number 24 was a set of four ceramic Easter Bunny figurines. I actually collected these from several different trips to my local thrift store. I'm guessing I paid about 38 cents each for them, so I have about $1.52 invested. They sold for the full asking price of $19.94. And the last item, number 25, was a set of 10 handmade crocheted Easter ornaments. I paid 67 cents for these at my local thrift store. I accepted an offer and they sold for $12. So there you have it. There were 25 items I sold in February. It kept me busy packaging all those orders. It just goes to show that if you put forth the effort, you'll reap the rewards. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I've showed you something that you might be on the lookout for the next time you're out thrifting. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? It doesn't cost anything. Go ahead, it's free. Just click that red button down below. You know you want to. So the first item was a set of two mid-century wooden taper candles. Try that again. I paid $2.99 for these at a Goodwill store.
I paid $2.99 for these at a Goodwill store. Oh my gosh, Renee. Spit it out. So I ac I accepted a lower offer than, than I was expecting, but because I... I just said all that. They sold quickly. I accepted an offer, and they sold... Ah. Number 13 was a set of two vintage carved wooden hound dog figurines. Ah. Start over. Ah. Number 15 was a pampered chef. Number 15 was a pampered chef. Oh, come on. Number 21 was a set of 12 miniature art glass. Oops. <laughs> Number 23 was a package of Fruit of the Loom Thermo. Number 23 was a Fruit of the Loom. <sighs> if you like this video, please leave a. Uh. Hopefully you hopefully I shared something with you that you might not have thought uh, as always from my heart to yours share love not hate have a wonderful day